Now let's talk about the economy. Let's talk about inflation, something that's hitting us all in the pockets. Half of U.S. inflation due to high corporate profits report fines. Think Tank report says resounding evidence shows companies continue to keep prices high even as their inflationary costs drop. And to that I say, you don't say. <gasps> Shocked. Shocked, I say, that these people are just being greedy. A new report claims resounding evidence shows that high corporate profits are a main driver of ongoing inflation and companies continue to keep prices high even as their inflationary costs drop. The report compiled by the Progressive Groundwork Collaborative Think Tank found that corporate profits accounted for 53% of inflation during last year's second and third quarters. Profits drove 11% of price growth in the 40 years prior to the pandemic, according to the report. Prices for consumers rose 3.4% over the past year, but input costs for producers increased by just 1% according to the author's calculations, which were based on data from the Bureau of Economic Analysis and National Income and Products, Products Accounts. Costs have come down substantially, and while corporations were quick to pass on their increased costs to consumers, they are surprisingly less quick to pass on their savings to consumers. Liz Pancotti, a Groundwork Strategic Advisor and paper co-author said, since the pandemic, inflation spiked in 2021, a high stakes debate has played out about its sources. Many progressive economists pointed to corporate profits or greedflation and supply chain issues as a driver of high prices, while their more conservative counterparts singled out government stimulus, cash, and high wages. The report's authors scoured corporate earnings calls and found executives bragging to shareholders about keeping prices high and widening profit margins as inputs come down. The findings come as the Federal Reserve has hiked interest rates to their highest point in 20 years. The report casts serious doubt on the need for further interest rate hikes and instead calls for stronger policies to rein in corporate, corporate profiteering. Price Prices rose in 2021 as labor costs jumped and supply chain shocks come, came from the pandemic and the Ukraine war snarled shipping, traffic, and left energy supplies in question. But those issues have, in many cases, been fully sorted out and or um, are easing, and the labor market has stabilized. Many commodities and services producers' prices have actually decreased, the report notes. Nearly 60% of the drop in key goods and services inputs was driven by large declines in energy costs, such as jet fuel and diesel fuel, while transportation and warehousing costs have fallen by nearly 4% since June 2022, um, since the June 22 peaks. Still, prices remain high. Consumers are still paying about 25% more for groceries, the report notes as an example. And we all feel it because we all have to eat. Corporations maintain high prices by exploiting co cost shocks caused by events such as the Ukraine war and coordinating price hikes, said Isabella Weber, a University of Massachusetts Amherst economist who is not a part of the paper. The shocks create an environment in which it is safe for firms to increase prices as they expect their competitors to do the same. This is a form of implicit collusion, she said. Firms do not even need to talk to one another to know that a cost shock is a great time to raise prices. But when cost falls, price setting firms do not have any incentive to decrease prices. If no firms launch a price war, Weber added, then companies hold the line on prices and widen margins. She pointed to food processors as an example. The paper zooms in on, on the diaper industry, of which Procter & Gamble and Kimberly Clark control 70% of the domestic market. Diaper prices have increased more than nearly 30 percent since 2019, from an average of 16.50 to nearly 22 dollars for some Pampers. Understand why the birth rate needs to continue to fall because these companies are literally price gouging because parents don't have any choices where they can go if 70 percent of the market is controlled by these two companies. The rise was partly driven by an increase in commodities like wood pulp, a major component of diapers. Wholesale wood pulp soared by 87% um, um, between January 2021 and January 2023, but last year prices dropped by 25%. Still, diaper prices have not come down with lower costs. Groundwork examined 
earnings calls and found that executives at both companies boasting of widening profit margins as input costs decrease. A drop in inputs account for about one of Kimberly Clark's profits, the company executive said. P&G executive said in July earnings call they expect $800 million in windfall profits because of the declining input costs, suggesting they won't bring down prices. Potential parents literally should just opt out because this is ridiculous. Um, meanwhile, workers aren't faring as well. Corporate profits as a share of national income are up by 29%, and worker share of corporate earnings is still down from pre-pandemic levels. The Biden administration has taken steps to strengthen supply chains, Pankati noted, and Joe Biden recently called on corporations to stop gouging consumers as input costs fall, but Pankati and Weber called for a stronger action pointing to other nations with forms of price control in place. So that one was from The Guardian. This is from Fortune. This is um, titled, Greedflation caused more than half of last year's inflation surge, study finds as corporate profits remained at an all-time high. So I'm not going to do this whole article I, because some of it overlaps with The Guardian, but let's let's get into it a little bit. It says, we may be looking at the end of capitalism. Those words from the pen of the loquacious Albert Edwards of the Society General shocked Wall Street analysts said last April and said Albert's on his way to becoming a financial press favorite for his witty turns of um, apoc apocalyptic phrase. He was commenting on the phenomenon of greedflation. But after falling from its blistering pace in 2022, consumer inflation has gotten stubbornly stuck in the 3% rage, rising unexpectedly for the last two months. Even as wholesalers prices um, stay flat or fall, that is greedflation's music, offering a clear bit of evidence that excessive profit taking is happening above the raw cost of good, goods. And yet another progressive economic study, this time from Groundwork Collaborative, shed light on the product arguing that more than half of the consumer price, inflation, uh, price increases in the middle of last year were due to excessive profit. This is why I wanted to bring out some of the fortune because um, they offer this graph. This is consumer price hikes outpace producers costs. And so the reddish line is the consumer price index. And then the brownish line is the producer's price index. And you see that the red line, the consumer price index for all items in 2024 is at 3.4%, whereas the producer's price index is at 1% over here at 2024. So the cost is this wide, is not on pace. So what we are paying is not because of the cost to the producer. It's just because they just want to gouge us. So this is the last screenshot I'm going to do. That profit, lower volume dynamic, is even hurting workers who are being scheduled for fewer shifts to service fewer shoppers, who are themselves put off by ever increasing prices, Bloomberg opinion writer Connor Sin wrote. In the short term, that trend may manifest itself in some positive changes like a four day work week, but in the longer term, companies will refuse to give up their fat profit margins without a fight and will try to cut wherever possible. The tech industry, while a small part of the overall economy, is prime evidence of this dynamic with Google and Amazon and plenty of small companies this month announcing plans to shed profitable parts of their workforce. We saw last week a lot of companies with their layoffs. So I don't know what the answer is. The answer is probably to pull, pull, pull back as much as you can for shopping that is unnecessary. Um, you know, send a message that we're not just going to keep shopping and all of it is just profits and unnecessary price um, gouging. I don't know what the answer is, but we need to keep talking about this because everything is more expensive and it's just ridiculous. And so many people are struggling just to live day to day because companies just want to price gouge us. And I, yeah, I'm sorry. I don't really have anything extra witty to say at the end of this, but y'all just jump in the comments. Let me know what you think about this and don't forget to like, comment, and share.